The wheel of time weaves a great pattern of existence from the threads of all people, events, and things. There are seven repeating ages, though each age is slightly different from its previous iteration. The main story takes place in the third age. People are reincarnated through the ages and typically don't remember their past lives. The wheel of time was put in place by the creator and is churned by the two halves of the one power, Sidar, the female half, and Sidene, the male half. Some few people in the world can tap into this power and channel it by weaving threads of the one power for all sorts of uses. In the past, male and female channelers were called Aes Sedai, or servants of all. The creator's antithesis is the Dark One, who was imprisoned outside of the pattern at the moment of creation. The Dark One seeks to remake the wheel and the pattern in his own image, or to destroy the Wheel of Time and all existence. Built within the mechanism of the wheel are special threads in the pattern called Tavirin, which help to course correct when the pattern of an age veers too far off course. Tavirin are people who are sort of like anchor points that influence other threads in the pattern as needed to keep it on track. In the previous age, called the Age of Legends, a small hole called the Boar was drilled into the Dark One's prison, which allowed him to touch the world and corrupt the people. His followers, including many Aes Sedai, sought to fully free him from his prison and started a brutal War of Power. During the War of Power, a hero and Taviran called the Dragon, who was also a powerful male Aes Sedai named Luz Theron Telamon, led the forces of the Light against the forces of the Shadow. The Dragon eventually succeeded at ending the war and resealing the Dark One's prison, using seven support supposedly unbreakable seals. But just before the prison was resealed, the Dark One lashed out with a counterattack that permanently corrupted the male half of the One Power, leading all male channelers to madness and caused serious destruction and upheaval. The resulting breaking of the world caused by the male Aes Sedai was so devastating that most of the advancements of the past age were lost, and the current third age was thrown back to a more primitive time. Today, only female channelers who train in the White Tower in the great island city of Tarvalon are called Aes Sedai. Men who are fated to channel the One Power are hunted down and have their ability to channel stripped away in a process called gentling, or they are killed. Now, somehow the seals on the Dark One's prison are weakening, new followers and minions of the Shadow are gaining strength, and the prophecies of the Dragon claim that in the world's greatest hour of need, the Dragon will be reborn to face the Dark One again, but this time the pattern is rigged in the Dark One's favor. Half of the One Power is tainted, and the prophesied hero may go mad and destroy the world, or may even join the Shadow before he can fix the mistakes of his past self. Let the dragon ride again on the winds of time.